let me turn to the subject of atheism. Bobby Kirkhart is the president of Atheists United and vice president of the Atheist Alliance of America. Organizers of Santa Monica's Christmas nativity scene are accusing these atheists of hijacking the tradition. Atheist groups objected to the use of the park by churches to support a religious message and applied to the city of Santa Monica for their own spaces. Bobby will say that atheists have been excluded for years from city subsidized displays. Now, he says, they finally have an equal chance. Here's Bobby Kirkhart, president of Atheists United. Bobby, what a handle to your jug that is. Pres Vice President of the Atheist Alliance of America. Sounds very militant. Oh, uh, if militant means uh, always on the watch and uh, loyal to our ideals, uh, then I'm militant. If it means uh, belligerent, uh, bellicose, then uh, the Atheist Alliance of America is not really very militant. What a fabulous answer. That's one of the best answers I've ever had to a challenging question. Well done. Good start. Bobby, why can't you just allow the religious to be religious, especially at Christmas time? We certainly can. Uh, it's, uh, it would be a very unusual atheist in this country particularly who would see any advantage to denying people freedom of, of expression about their religion or their ideas about religion because when we allow persecution, we are the first ones persecuted. Uh, in, in the United States, unlike Britain, our Constitution says that the government will not support religion. And traditionally, in Santa Monica, the government, the city government, did in fact support only religious uh, displays. And then uh, it was loosened up a little bit and we had uh, we had a booth for a few years, and then we had passive displays. And when we have passive displays, they tend to be vandalized. They have been, I think, every year. Uh, this year, the city went to a lottery system, and uh, atheists just got lucky. I don't know. Uh, I sometimes say God loves a good atheist. <laughs> but uh, but uh, for some reason, atheists won a lot of the spaces and uh, so Atheist United is going to have a couple of banners. We have one up and one coming up uh, wishing people, the one up is wishing people reasons, greetings, uh, but but we do have an issue with, uh, with the idea of allowing. I did a local radio show yesterday and we got calls from Christians who thought that it was inappropriate and antagonistic of atheists to celebrate the winter holidays at all. Now, I don't think you'd have that in England, but we have a lot of people here who believe that way, who believe you wouldn't, that only you, Christians are entitled to free expression. Bobby, you wouldn't want to see the streets of this country this evening as of the early morning as we now are in. You wouldn't want to see how they celebrate the winter festival they celebrate the winter festival rolling around drunk punching each other stealing from each other getting carried away in police vans and ambulances believe me britain has has nothing to do with christianity don't 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 fall for that and i know that you've got a lot of extreme fundamentalist religious nuts yes. in your country i know that and that must be very galling but in Santa Monica, all they wanted to do was use the city's park. Well, and they have the right to use the city's park if anyone does, but they don't have the right to exclusive use of the city's park. But you could have your own, you could invent a godless day, an atheist day, and you could celebrate that, and then you could have the park all to yourself. There, there, there's no invention needed. Uh, all of these celebrations, as you probably know, are about the winter solstice, about the sun being at the lowest point uh, from the northern hemisphere. And our European ancestors had a great many pagan celebrations of this time. And our, our traditional Christmas celebrations are 
virtually all from earlier religions, including the idea of a god being born. So there's no need to invent something if anyone has hijacked the holiday. It would be the Christians, because they have taken all of these other uh, traditions, many of them uh, from the British Isles, and, and made them Christian. Uh, but I don't see it that way. I don't see that as hijacking. I, I think they have every right to do that, and they have every right to religious displays in their churches and on their private property. In, in this country, uh, the very first amendment to the Constitution, the very first words are, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. And, and subsequently that was extended to all forms of government through the 14th Amendment. And so what we'd rather see is no expression of religion or irreligion in the public square and let us each make those expressions on private property, on church property, etc. Uh, haven't but you, haven't so you long done as it's in the public square, we have an equal right to it. Well, you do have an equal right to the public square. You sure. just don't have to do it at the same time as them. That's provocative. Haven't you made atheism into a kind of cult? Well, I, I, I'd have to say that in terms of the time, we were there first. The winter solstice is a is a scientific observation, and it was celebrated for millennia before Christianity. That's going uh, back quite a long know, while, Bobby. So you're, you're talking about, well, it is. Uh, how far back do you want to go? The well, Christians, you want to go uh, farther back than me. Well, I, I guess so. People choose the time they want to go back to, and it's the time they see as their advantage. But there's, they're all human beings. As, you know, countries where there is no Christianity, if they're outside of the tropics, there's a, there's a winter solstice celebration. It's a, it's a natural human thing uh, to, to note that when, when it's cold and it's dark, we need to look to each other for light. We need to cling to each other for warmth. Aren't you and a cult, Bobby? You can tell me. There's only you and me of here. Of course we're not a cult. A, a cult is, a, is a, a group that follows a leader without question, right? Yes. A cult... Well, the, uh, I note that you're the president of Atheist United and the vice president of the Atheist Alliance of America. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're that leader. Well, I, if, if people are following me without question, I've yet to notice it. <laughs> Bobby, you've been a great guest, let me tell you that. I speak as someone who doesn't normally shower praise on militant atheists. Thanks very much indeed for joining us.